Welcome once again to Bollywood Life. My guest today is a fine blend of prettiness, sexiness and expressiveness. Well, if she can impress you by playing the edgy, grungy girl in Farah Khan's Main Huna, she can also impress you by playing the conservative, shy, soft-spoken girl next door in films like Viva and Ishqwish. She caught the fancy of India's greatest artist M.F. Hussain, but for ordinary guy like me, she's always been a girl you dream to take home to impress your mom. Please welcome none other than Amrita Rao. Thanks. Oh wow, that's <laughs> you like such that intro? a fa- fascinating introduction. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. So much. Tell me, uh, just when we thought Amrita that you vanished from the big screen, you appeared with a bang. Jolly LLB is such a huge success. Tell us about it. Yes, I guess you know when you see my lineup of movies in 2013, you'll know why I was like a little uh, choosy in in the last two years. Uh, especially in the last one and a half years, I guess I had this one film a year record, which uh, obviously I had a lot of people asking me that why are we not seeing you doing more films and why are you so choosy? But I guess um, uh, when they see my films, and especially Jolly LLB has been a fantastic start to this new year. Right. Um, when I heard the script for the first time, uh, I was like, wow! I mean, this is a subject. Very rarely anybody has uh, kind of explored on as a subject as a whole. We, right. We've usually seen quotes and you know like a portion <laughs> of order order and my Gita pe hath rakhe and all of that we've seen as a part Jesus. of films but yeah. not dwelled upon as a concept entirely. Right. So I was very impressed and uh, I'm I'm really happy that uh, what I felt what I had faith in as a script as a subject mm. as a director has now been accepted by everybody. Tell us about the experience of working with Arshad Varsi and Bhaman Irani. How was that? Well, uh, when um, um, uh, Mr. Subhash Kapoor told me that you know Arshad is playing Jolly and uh, Bhaman is playing the other lawyer in the film, and both of them have confirmed for the role. Right. I was like, "Bullare! I have to be a part of this trilogy now because right. this is so interesting as a combination." Arshad, of course, I have worked with him. Mm. Uh, Previously, not as his leading lady, but mm. I've worked with him. Baman, I've worked with him. Main Huna, and then right. we did a Indra Kumar's Pyare Mohan. He was the antagonist in that film right. uh, as well. So uh, when you have such ensconced actors like Baman and Arshad on the set, you know you are absolutely challenged. And right. um, uh, Arshad has this terrific sense of humor. He doesn't call me Miss Rao. He always calls me Miss Wow. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, whenever I hear Miss Wow, I know okay, Arshad right. is around. Right, right. Yeah. So, what did you learn from these two actors, and how was the total experience in terms of uh, give and take? Um, in terms of give and take, it was very um, easy with Arshad. I didn't have much of a role with Bama Nirani in the movie, uh, but Arshad, the uh, I, I think the kind of rapport we had in the right. film, the kind of love story we had in the film. Right. It was hardly a love story, you know. You can't really call it a love story. It was something new for us, for to the way we spoke to each other, and you know, mm. it was more like two friends arguing and showing each other mi- the mirror, and you know. Mm. So for me, uh, a I was exploring a new language, that very north and that very tu teri tujhe kya lagta hai, tu iklota hai aur baat right. kamal hai, and you know these kind of dialogues. So for me. Coming from a background of doing those hmm. mushy romantic films like right. Ishqwish and Viva, and you know, right. like where I've been the ideal girlfriend, yeah, this was like a new flavor, and I was completely up to this. So, how do you see your journey now, more than a decade now in in the industry? How do you see your graph going, Amrita? I think uh, in comparison, my graph has been like. Very smooth, hmm. and uh, for someone who has had no godfather in the industry, I am right now spearheading almost all the departments that come along with the territory of being an actress. Okay, you know, so from right from handling my PR to my uh, my you know like everything, my contracts, my hmm. CA work, I have taken complete control over everything. Everybody wants to be here, but there are just a bunch of us who are hmm. here. And for me to find that um, identity for myself, to find my home in the film industry hmm. uh, itself has been a huge achievement. Right. So um, I've not had any major rejection, or I've not seen failure in audition. Right. Um, I have had uh, some of the super hit films. You know, I mean, if you look at some of my films, 
uh, they're playing almost every weekend on 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 TV on because TV, they're exactly. so popular, popular nationally. Whether it's Viva or mm -hmm. Main Hoon Na or Ish Kuesh, Masti, Sajjan Poor, you see these films absolutely, all over. You know, absolutely. so I I feel so proud, and I think ultimately for me. Um, there was this phase when I used to think that I want to be number one, and you know, like, but that was very childish me when I got into the film industry initially. Now I realize that each one of us are so different, True. and we can't really compete. You can't have a competition between a pineapple and a banana, or a mango and a chiku. We are so different from each other. Hmm. So I guess we should. Um, uh, have respect for who we are Absolutely. and uh, not try and be somebody else and mm. do the kind of work we want to do at our comfort level. Right. We hear uh, Nasiruddin Shah, the, the institution himself, praise you for your role in Jolly LLB. How was that? I mean, oh getting that reaction God. from from the veteran? Th that was like, I mean, I, I, I was almost about to sleep and I had an early morning uh, commitment. So I was about to sleep and suddenly I heard this SMS. I was yeah. like, oh my God, I have to put this phone on silent. And I saw it was from Arshad Varsi and he said, uh, I'm in Lucknow and I took the whole crew of Dade Ishkia to watch the film and Nasir Sahab thought you were fantastic. Congrats, <laughs> Miss Wow. <laughs> so I was And how like, did Miss Miss Wow react? I was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> Nasir Sahab thought my work was brilliant. So that from I actually lost sleep, you know, like right, the next right. two hours and I, I woke up, I went and told my mom, I told my family, I shared it with my friends. Right. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to tweet about this. So right. it, was, it was a fantastic Right, reaction. right. Amrita, you, you are a fabulous actor, you act well, you look gorgeous, you are you constitute what Indian beauty is all about, yet you have not uh, been in the top three or top five league. Uh, what according to you has stopped you from getting there? Well, uh, like I said, you know, I mean, um, right now there in, in Bollywood, if you go to see, there is no number one, number two, number three. Yes. Everybody is number one, number two. You replace one actress and put her in another uh, movie. Right. Uh, you know, and, and she's dancing to those super hit songs. It doesn't matter to the audience whether they're seeing A or they're seeing B. Yeah. They want to see a good film. I mm. think more, it's more about seeing the heroes, if mm. you really ask me, and it's about Dancing to that super hit song, you hmm. know, which actress dances to it really right. doesn't matter. Right. So uh, I feel that if if that happened to me in my career, great, right. easier for me. You know, heroes True. are doing all the back breaking action and all the uh, right. heavy duty stuff. I come and sing and dance and say right. some lines and go away. So easy. Right. But but uh, if that has not happened to me, it's not like I'm going to cry and say, oh my God, why is it not happening to me? Because I think I'm so fortunate to have done films where, um, uh, even in a film like Jolly and LB, where okay. it was not a love story, mm -hmm. uh, my track was appreciated for, uh, you know, for, for encapsulating the relationship within that limited space. Okay. So I, I think that's more important to me, just doing right, good right. work, working plus, with. Yeah, plus, plus, uh, in, in my opinion, your identity as a star, you are very approachable, attainable. The girl next door uh, tag, as I said before, yeah. while most of the Bollywood divas are so fierce and edgy and they look uh, inapproachable, Amrita Rao comes across as a girl next door. But yeah. uh, didn't you want to be that edgy, uh, unattainable, glamorous diva when you started out? Uh, I think, see, I thought Mehuna had a lot of glamour. Right. Uh, even Jolly LLB, if you go to see that that uh, song that we did towards the end, the promo song, that had a lot of gla mm. glamour. But mm. I, I would never want to do something because somebody else is doing. I would never like to wear certain kind of clothes because somebody A, B, and C are wearing it. Right. This is a trend. So I guess, um, um, and the way I have been, I've always taken that time to understand what I want to do. Right. I never said yes to an offer in the first go. Okay. So. Um, I don't really miss anything. I think whatever happened to my life was perfect yeah. with, with and, and with the kind of personality I am. I'm right. really happy with what has yeah, happened right, to me. Right, right. You work with Shah Rukh Khan, the King Khan of Bollywood, yeah. and now you are working with the ultimate Shahen Shah of Bollywood, yeah. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan in Satyagraha. Yeah. So tell us, how do you see uh, these two actors operating on cellulite? How was the experience working with these two for you? Wow. Well, I think both of them were. So so much into what they were doing, you know, right. like if, even when I worked in Mehuna with Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, he used to keep making sure that, you know, his lines are like completely uh, in, place. in place so that when one, once he gives a take, it's one take okay. Okay. There is not this thing that, 
I'm Shah Rukh Khan. There is always a second take. Right. His desire, mm-hmm. you know, and that that whole aim that I will give the first take okay yeah. is something that really fascinates me as right. a newcomer, as an actress mm-hmm. today. Same with Mr. Bachchan, you know. I mean, he's also completely into mugging his dialogues, uh, you know, improvising mm. it, discussing with the director. Because when he gives the first take, right. he wants it to be absolutely right. Like right. nobody would say that Mr. Bachchan has given a take to. And I can imagine the pressure, you know, because when Mr. Bachchan is doing a cru- crucial scene, right. everybody must be like focusing on right. what he's up to. So, despite right. that pressure to deliver, is amazing. While we are on Mr. Bachchan, tell us your role in the film in Satyagra. Well, uh, uh, without revealing much, I can say that I play a part of his family. Mm. So I am very closely uh, with him in the movie throughout the film. Okay. And uh, when Mr. Jha told me that uh, all the scenes of Mr. Bachchan, you are with him, and all your performances in the film will be with <laughs> Mr. Bachchan, I was like, oh my God, okay, you know. So the whole, um, um, along with the right, whole right. amazing offer that I got, this whole. Thing that okay that that this faith and and everything entrusted in me right. to be with Mr. Bachchan was absolutely. Amazing. Do actors have to prepare themselves before you know going in for a scene with Mr. Bachchan? Did you have to prepare? Tell me honestly. Well, I no, I'm not right. really. Although I asked Mr. Prakash yeah. Jha that is my first scene with Mr. Bachchan in the film, and he said no. But kind of, I was not prepared to meet Mr. Hmm. Bachchan that right. day. But it was like that. Right. And we were in the same frame. Right. Right. Uh, he was in the frame, although I had to like, you know, I was on a phone right. call and I get out of the room and he's in the background. Uh, so I was not nervous as, or anything like that. But yes, he has a hangover on you. And once you come <laughs> back from the shoot, you are actually kind of reminding yourself, yes, it was right. with Mr. Bachchan Amrita. You, yeah, right. you worked with Mr. Bachchan Amrita. So, he has so while on the shoot, the character takes uh, the the uh, the front seat and Amrita after, goes... After, after the shoot, uh, Amrita is completely overwhelmed, <laughs> overwhelmed. and believe in reminding herself. Right, yeah. right. Tell us about your future project. How how do you see them shaping uh, up? This year, uh, apart from Jolly, I'll have two more releases. Okay. Uh, one, of course, Satyagraha, which I'm very much shooting hmm. for right now. And the second would be Singh Sahab the Great. Okay. Uh, I'm shooting with Mr. Sunny Diol for the first time, right. mm-hmm. and Anil Sharma, uh, who's always been popular with the uh, movies with Sunny Diol. Right. So um, I'm I'm really happy about that. Right. Uh, I play a television news reporter journalist in that. Okay. So playing a journalist has been one of the most um, exciting and amazing. I've always seen them. They've always <laughs> been around me so closely. Ask me. Exactly. <laughs> So I'm hoping that once the film releases, uh, I get a lot of job offers from some exclusive okay. news channels. <laughs> I uh, wish you all the best for the same. Amrita, Holi is just around the corner. Tell us about your Holi plans and tell us uh, who is that special someone you are going to uh, play and this. Holy yeah, yeah, play Holi with this. Well, uh, firstly, I would say uh, Jolly Mubarak. <laughs> yeah, Holi. Jolly Mubarak. Oh, sorry, Holi yeah. Mubarak. Jolly Holi Mubarak. Maybe that's yeah. the line. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's the same thing, you know, yeah. because uh, it's been a fantastic start and uh-huh. uh, the film is just 10 days old and it's made already like 25 crores or something like that. Right. So, uh, Holi is going to be extremely special this mm-hmm. year and Holi is always a festival I believe that uh, rest of all the festivals are with family but right. Holi is with friends. So, um, do we, so do you have a special message for Bollywood lifers out there who love you, who adore you? Yes, uh, to all of you, Holi, remember Holi is with friends so this Holi spend a lot of time with your friends, go for all those drives and play a lot of with lot of colours but if you can uh, replace water with flowers, mm-hmm. uh, that's been my message this year. Let's play Phoolo Ki Holi, Jesse Bridge Mein Mashoor Hoti Hai, Bridge Ki Phoolo Ki Holi. I guess it'll add a new flavor and at the same time uh, help uh, the drought situation in Maharashtra. Well, that's the message from Amrita. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thanks for your time and your lovely words. Thank you Thank so you. much.